Today, we will be discussing the impacts of climate change, and more specifically, Amazonian deforestation. My name is Thomas Matthews. I'm Diallo Barnes. And my name is Alex Obolensky. To start off with, let's discuss what Amazonian deforestation is. The Amazon is a key rainforest for all of South America, and deforestation has been a major issue for the past 40 years. Approximately 17% of the rainforest has been removed already, and this rate is only growing. The Amazon is a key area for regulating uh, regional climate as it plays a key role in circulation of water and water vapor transport. Currently, the Amazon is an incredibly biodiverse place home to millions of species. Deforestation damages the homes of these species and makes it and damages the ecosystem as well. Deforestation leads to increased dry seasons, especially in the Eastern Amazon, as well as abnormal precipitation all throughout South America. Uh, many changes in precipitation directly correlate to the lack of trees, which leads to uh, less moisture recycling. And as you can see in the image, some areas like the Central and Eastern Amazon have severely decreased precipitation, while other areas like Colombia and Venezuela have increased precipitation. So what are the future effects of deforestation? Well, the rates of deforestation would reduce the area of the Amazon by about 60%. Deforestation is leading to increased exposure in air pollution, diseases, and respiratory problems for indigenous people. For example, when trees are to cut down, the, the storage of CO2 that they have are released into the air, which can create toxins for animals and humans. The removal of trees directly impacts the soil temperature, uh, especially for the land. Um, this is because when trees are cut down, they are a kind of a shade for the soil and the land that it's on. But when they're cut down, this just makes perfect opportunity for the sunlight to increase the temperature of the soil, which is shown because it, it, it's shown to increase the soil temperature by one to three degrees Celsius. Additionally, deforestation may also affect the rivers as it contaminates water, fuel floods, and drought, and, and can lead to higher water treatment costs. Brazil has planned for dams to be created to increase electricity. Our power pr produce could be decreased by 5.4 and 7.5% during the dry seasons. Potentially, this could create, this could potentially generate more electricity variability. So what are the impacts that deforestation has on people? Projections show that 60% rainfall reduction and a two degree Celsius increase over the Amazon. Large scale changes will increase the effects of heat exposure on humans, especially for the vulnerable groups of society. Additionally, heat stress conditions weaken the body and can cause exhaustion, dehydration, and tension in vital functions. Also, these effects will impact nearly 11 million people if deforestation continues at this rate. And you can see from the diagram on the left that because of deforestation, body temperatures may rise to above 100 degrees Celsius. Fahrenheit, and uh, this can cause red hot dry skin, a lot of nausea and vomiting, and a rapid pulse, which isn't good for humans. There are a lot of different potential impacts on the environment due to deforestation. For example, regional atmospheric and water circulation patterns can be significantly impacted by deforestation. This can lead to things such as longer dry seasons, which can occur up to 50% more often in certain areas of the rainforest. There is also a general decrease of precipitation expected throughout the entire Amazon region. Furthermore, temperatures are expected to continue to grow within the Amazon as deforestation becomes a bigger and bigger issue. Carbon emissions are likewise expected to increase um, due to certain factors. For example, approximately 60% of these increased emissions are due to fire um, due to fires within the Amazon, depending on the different region of the Amazon it looked at. Finally, the use of pesticides and cattle ranching further contributes to soil and water pollution, impacting the environment in many different ways. These are our sources.